Hi everyone, welcome to Birthday Fan Mail Friday, and I am so happy it's this time of the week. We have a table full of creativity, gifts, letters, cards, all kinds of amazing things, and just number one, right out of the gate, thank you so very much. And it takes hours now to read all the things, right, which is amazing. Like I sit and read all the letters and everybody has to wait for me. So I'm going to start off with the biggest project, biggest uh, gift, birthday gift, topiary from Denise. Isn't this fun? Uh, big giant pillow, all 3D. Now, Denise, it looks like, let's see, you're in Midlothian. Look, her, her card actually matches her gift. Isn't that beautiful? Dearest Anna and team, thank you for the beautiful products you create. Oh, I just love that, how everything coordinates. So nice. Uh, I have so many cards. I actually divided some of them into um, piles of sizes, and then I got a little, you know, off track. So let's start with, um, with our friend Barbie. All right, so gorgeous uh, China cabinet card, birthday card. Age is merely a number of years the world has been enjoying you. <laughs> the world's been with me for a while uh, and then she writes all the amazing things about getting back into scrapbooking and scrapbooking her mother's photos and how much fun she's had over the last year so Barbie thank you for that um, we do enjoy seeing all your projects now we have a gorgeous card from Julia and when you see isn't that pretty in the green and then on the inside and she says you're an inspiration to many uh, which is so nice in more ways than you realize so Julia thank you I appreciate that and then we have a card from Melissa so pretty look at that burgundy happy birthday to you watch this you're the bomb <laughs> <laughs> oh, Melissa, you're so funny. Uh, uh, thank you for that, and uh, thank you for your text. Uh, I, I enjoy talking to you. So, uh, it wouldn't be Fan Mail Friday without our friend Anita, who is also celebrating uh, one special birthday right here. Uh, happy birthday. Isn't that beautiful? May you be blessed with good health and lots of love. Uh, I love that. And then she made a thinking of you card with complete with little ladybugs as well. And Anita's going back to bowling in September and there might be a new team. What do you think? All right. Uh, so it wouldn't be August without something from a Leo, right? Look at this. Celestial cards from our friend Sabrina, all with the Leo on in the center. And she just loves that. Um, she, thank you, Sabrina. And um, greetings from Norcross. I, I do have a whole pile of slimline cards, which I think is not a pile. It's a beautiful stack of slimline cards. And I'm going to start off with my friend Robert. And what's so beautiful about what Robert makes me every time he sends me something is all that little added texture. There's some French ribbon and vellum and all those things on the in this card. And thank you for that. You are very kind. Uh, and then... We have a gift and a slimline card from Peg, all in purple. Look at this. The, I think those are those paper beads that she sent before. Uh, there's a bracelet and earrings all, and there's a little kitty cat charm. That's a lovely gift. And, you know, it just keeps on giving around here. Wait till you see. There's an earring theme going on today. Uh, now, Elaine, I haven't heard from you in a while, and so beautiful to see this, and birthday greetings also with lots of texture, and I'm glad to hear from you, uh, and I, th I think of you often. Now, we have Belinda. She's been making slimline cards, too, with her, her winter gifts, uh, also one, working beautifully for birthday, which she also says on the inside. She um, thinks that die set is awesome and I think your card is gorgeous too so well done well done and then you know we haven't heard from Kathy in a while either cat miss Kathy glaze she did a little slimline card with embossed vellum from all of us that's beautiful Kathy um, and she also signed it from her kitty cat uh, monkey monkey and Henry kitty cats yeah and then we have more winter gifts like this from Valerie so cute this doesn't even fit in the frame does it I have to like back it up so you can see the slim line hip hip hooray Miss Valerie she's sending that card from sunny central Illinois uh, I'm glad that you have been continued to be creative through all that has been happening 
Oh, and then we have another slim line. This is fun. This is from Kathy Foose, and uh, look at this. There's a kitty cat that she has adopted from outside, and she has a big uh, sign, need money, not homeless. Wife keeps buying crafting supplies. That's hysterical. But that little kitty cat's lucky to have um, adopted you, Kathy, and Boots. Um, I think that that's really fun. So she also has a granddaughter, Evelyn, and it's August 5th is her birthday as well. And then she's got like nine birthdays in August, so it's a busy month for her. Um, it's a busy month for August birthdays in my world too. Lots and lots of Leos. Okay, now it's time for Penny the Poet. Look at this. How beautiful. Twall. I love it. Thank you, Miss Penny. Thank you for always uh, thinking of me. I, I, you are... Um, you are a treat to know, and uh, I enjoy seeing all your pictures that you keep posting of your family this summer. So I'm watching. I might not comment, but I'm watching. Look, this is from Miss Mary, and she's been working and finishing school. I can tell. Isn't that beautiful? And I have two cards from Tina, also like amazingly gorgeous. Look at that. Shaped cards gorgeous French frames. I love this. A sweet little note. That is very true. Very, very true. And then happy birthday, fondly Tina. Now she um, also sent me uh, something that I thought was rather interesting, which was she had been with me. Look at this. this. This stamp is from the very first stamps from All Night Media and Plaid. And she's been with me ever since. Uh, I think that's so amazing. So uh, that's been a mini a day now. So Tina, very nice. She uh, she also thanked us for using her cards and craftspiration. So then there was some cute little kitty tissue paper uh, wrapping those gorgeous creations. All right, now Miss Vicky Mose, uh, look at this. She's been working on her shutter cards. Ready? Ta-da! Sending birthday wishes beautifully done. Uh, I love that you're using your signature cards. That's a, that's an easy way to write on the back, isn't it? Vicki Mose, I'll never forget you. I met you at Create. Uh, I love your last name. Very easy to remember. All right, now this is from Susan. So pretty. Love the little rosettes. Look, Pop out lilies, gorgeous. There are many benefits of getting older, but I don't remember a single one. That's really funny. Um, I know we wrote that in the paper dolls, and there we go. You, you turn around and you send it back to me. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, now this really pretty little card is from Libby, and so pretty. It's her first card for Fan Mail Friday. Of course, what's really fun on the outside, it says, first time, Anna's birthday. That's really important um, to have uh, one, that you sent something for Fan Mail Friday, and two, that you sent something on my birthday. So I really appreciate that. Uh, we also got to hear from Miss Robin Graham uh, and from San Francisco. Gorgeous. This die is making a, a really nice appearance here today. Uh, look, on the inside, gorgeous. Uh, everything about that's gorgeous. So thank you, Miss Robin. And then we get to hear from Sandy from St. Petersburg. And isn't that pretty? We have lots of pink cards around here. Uh, I guess you know you're on to me. Pink's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> well, if not the top, my most favorite color. All right, now we have some, this is from Carmen. And one of the things that she says, she writes, this birthday card isn't very fancy. I tend to more plain and simple, but lo love, I, she enjoys seeing what everyone does, which I think is really neat. And so when you look at what Carmen wrote, she made this card, this Christmas card, with the inside of all the envelopes, those, the ones that, um, this is like that NCR, non-character recognition paper that goes in the safety envelopes, and she cut it up and made that pattern. That's really, really quite clever. So Carmen, thank you for sending that. I'm sure we're all going, wow, we should start saving our envelopes. Okay, now we have a beautiful easel card from Kathy, and she's using her rocker dies and her china cabinet to make a really interesting shape card. Fits beautifully in my little window here. And Kathy, I'm um, happy to hear from you, and we will see you at Create 7. 
Oh, and then we get to hear from Claire here in, in Atlanta. Look, Claire and the kitty cats, and oh, look, antiques. Oh, thank you, Claire, um, for a bright birthday. That is so beautiful. I love a little flower pot made out of um, antique forget-me-nots. Mm -hmm. All right, got to go over there. Got to save that one. Miss Mary, she writes, look at this. You are my cup of tea, and ta-da. <laughs> Have a happy birthday. That is so nice. Thank you for spending all the time making the pop-up cards. I know that is a that is an effort, so we appreciate um, any of those pop-up cards that come our way. Oh, okay, Miss Myrna, look at this. Miss Myrna did a gorgeous border and teacup. Her their impression dies and her 3D um, borders, but this is really fun. So when you I, I love that. So Myrna has a ritual where three of her friends, they get together, they, they all live in California, they get together on, on their birthdays and they make it a, a, an outing, right? They stay in a hotel, they go to a show, they do all these things or play or a concert or they craft together, which is really special. They've taken classes in flower arranging, the cooking classes, and sometimes they just stay in and do something they haven't done before. I love that. There's at least one day dedicated shop to shopping. So right now I'm going to be doing some shopping. Yes, I am. <laughs> Myrna, thank you for that. And all right. Now let's see. This is I have three cards from Molly. And what we'll start with what I think is so pretty with the jacket die. Uh, birthday card with the with the birthday layer cake cardstock. That's so pretty. I, when I looked at, at it for the first time, I thought, gosh, I should really work on doing a card like this. And so pretty. So Miss Molly, and then she writes a thank you note for winning the die set, which is so nice. She wore, she won the easel sleigh dies. She's excited for Create Seven, but then she made me the first card with the easel sleigh dies and. Isn't that gorgeous? Even with the little glitter, it's so happy and so cute. And Molly, thank you. Okay, lots and lots. I'm, just, I'm only halfway through. Okay, birthday card from Agnes. All right, I, sh I didn't warn everybody this is going to be a long one. All right, Miss Agnes, look, shutter cards from Agnes. May all your wishes come true. That's so fun. You can wish on the card. Less calories than the cake, right? I love it, Agnes. Thank you so much. And all right, we'll go to Miss Sharon and my vintage gal friend. Look, the envelope and the card, they all match so beautifully. And what's fun is that she writes right here that if Georgie and Duke were to get me a present, she's sure it would be a Fabergé egg. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, they, those cats, they've got great taste. Isn't that important? Okay, and next we have, a, oh, this is so pretty. This is from Marilyn. Let me show you in the front. She's making all kinds of 3D embellishments. And then on the inside, really pretty with the flowers. And she has a, a fun giggle of, she's a Leo too. This is a birthday giggle. It says, celebrating birthdays are a must. And for when we get too old, it's a bust. Celebrating time that something is, is sometimes is too short, but we make do for there are just a few. And then it goes on to say about what happens when you get old, fat, and groggy. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm going to stop it right there. That's really funny. So thank you so much. Um, everybody, I think birthdays are, are different for everybody. They're funny. And, and I know in my family, we all joke around on birthdays and April Fool's Day. So um, I'm expecting, you know, funny things out of my sister and nephew and niece. Uh, any minute now. So we'll start right there. Okay, now this is from Miss Margaret and she sends two cards, really beautiful. So three cheers for you. This is her hip hip hooray, happy birthday. She just sent um, 200 cards for um, a box of cards to soldiers and she sent me this really beautiful birthday card. And what's amazing about, about Margaret is that she is 71, all right? made 200 cards for this um, amazing Cards for Soldiers program. And she said that we can Google all over the place. We can get 
places to send the cards that we make, and she's so good at it. So she's been she's been making she's been retired, but she's been making cards and doing amazing things. So we can all send what we know and love and to others, which I think is. I'm, you know, this is an embarrassment of riches to me, um, but I, I just want everybody to know that there's so many more ways to send all this creativity. So, okay, I digress. All right, Miss Carol, look at this. This is so pretty. This is Miss Carol's first shaped card. She made this from her finishing school class. I love this, uh, and I love the letter with the rub-ons and the, the envelope. And what's so fun about Carol, I, I just remarked uh, to Sharon about this, was that she, she has only known me since August of 2019, and she said her neighbor asked if she was watching Craft Day on HSN. I had no idea of that, and when I turned it on, the first thing I saw was you demonstrating the favorite tea embellishments, and then the border trim cut and embossed dies, and I fell in love immediately, ordered both. And then she goes on to say that there is now an Anna Griffin craft room in her house. She has the Empress. She joined finishing school, and she just, my goodness, has done everything there is to do in a very short amount of time. So, and Miss Carol, she says, in case you were wondering, I'm 76 years old. Good things come to those who wait. Oh, I just love you. Oh, okay. Hmm, isn't that fun? Okay, so uh, Miss Terry, she writes, everybody's got Miss in front of them today for some reason. I think it's just because I'm so happy to have all these gorgeous things. Uh, there's a little kitty cat sticker, and look on the pocket, there's a little hanky, and then there's for an extra to add to your card insert, a dainty handkerchief is a po in the pocket on the back, and then look at these, and they smell so lovely, like you just ironed them just for me. Every single one of these, so beautiful. I know one of the things my dad, you know, growing up, he always had a handkerchief, and he would always hand me his handkerchief when I needed it. So there I have a whole bunch of them. Thank you, and they're so beautiful. Okay, now Joanne Sinclair is the queen of easel cards in, in my world, and look at this, all right? So gorgeous. She has the, the fan pop out. The, I'll put it down so you can see the whole thing, right? The fan pop out as a full easel card, gorgeous, made with love, and have a very happy birthday. Thank you, Joanne. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. And then we have Richard, um, King Richard. Okay, I have to also start over here. Ready? Look, I told you these dies were making a big comeback today. They're everywhere. Isn't this extraordinary? It's a work of art, as Richard's cards are. Have a fabulous birthday. Aw, and just look at everything. It's embossed and gold, and, and it just keeps on going. Uh, Richard, when I looked at it the first time, I thought, am I supposed to go in all these little doors? Because it felt like I was about to. So thank you for this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then Marie made us, uh, well, made me, Look at that. It looks like a little book. It was tied with ribbon, but when you open it, right, it says Anna, right? And then, I'm not sure. I, I, th I think we have to go forward. Let me show you, Sarah. Marie. Ah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, isn't that fun? Okay, let's see. Let's put it on the table so that you can continue to enjoy that beautiful thing. And then uh, we have a little signature ribbon from our friend Susan Anglin. And let me show you her gorgeous card, sending birthday wishes. And she has a, a gorgeous um, little prayer and verse for me. And then she made, uh, all right, we have to go back to the front to see what she did. All right, custom AG earrings. And they look so great with my shirt. Uh, had I had a little more time, I would have put them on for you, Susan, but I, I do promise to um, take a photo of those beautiful things uh, in my ears. So thank you. Huh. And last but certainly not least, I have a birthday card box from uh, Diane and Patrick, and this is so cute. All right, so there's a little a balloon uh, easel on the top, and when we open the box, there's, it's full of love, and then we open the box again, and 
On the inside, this is so funny, it's a signature Diane. Whether you get the card maker that has everything, it's, well, you get her stamps, which is very funny. Very, very funny. And um, Diane writes that uh, so many of you have reached out to her, and we just want to continue to do that and to support Diane in her, um, in her treatment. And uh, what's so sweet is that when she gets her funny husband in on the action, he made me a card, but he wrote me a song, and it's a parody. Uh, so here it is, and it says, happy, uh, happy birthday, maybe you're too young or not to recall the 1989 hit by the B-52s. <laughs> Patrick, little do you know that I went to B-52s at the Fox Theater. I dressed up, I wore the cat glasses, I had on a big pink dress, oh, and I danced the whole time. It was amazing. So this is the Card Shack song to the Love Shack. It's a parody to the Love Shack song, and it is so, so great. We did try to sing it a minute ago, um, Patrick, and it didn't do very well, but so if you see a faded card at the side of the road it's th that says 15 miles to the card shack, oh, I love it. There will be more to come on this particular present, I promise you. Brennan's, um, thank you so much. I, a big hug to you and to everyone that sent this incredible um, card card-filled table of thoughts and letters and gifts, and it was just mm, so grateful, so happy. I really appreciate it, and I think there's going to be more to come <laughs> next week. <laughs> Bye for now.